long hairs out there. Long hairs, what's up? El Sergioso, back in the house. I missed you guys. And you know, Peyton is right. We need to clean up these sideburns and the neck hair. I need to look good for what I do. You need to look good for what you do. And in this video, we're gonna show you just how to do that. It's very simple, guys. It's very simple. You can do it by yourself at home or with a little bit of help. So let's rock. So you guys have two options. You can either choose to clean it up or let it grow out. But let's be honest. If you're a long-haired, curly-haired guy, you really have one option. Because these hairs on the sideburns and the neck, they curl up, they look scruffy. We need to clean it up. So we're going to do that right about now. Okay guys, so we got two very basic, straightforward tools. I think I got the scissors for like $3 and the clippers for like 10 bucks. So you don't need to go out and spend a fortune. These are very straightforward and very affordable. First things first, I'm just gonna get rid of anything that may potentially be in the way of the clippers. Okay, so I'm taking off my necklace here and we're gonna pick up the first tool, simply the clippers, guys. So really, I've had people who have never cut hair or been near any sort of any of that and I'd say, hey, can you help me out here? Just follow the lines, right? I need to clean this up before we go out. I'm gonna bring my girlfriend Peyton here and uh, she's gonna go at it. All right, we're gonna start with the right side. And we bend over the sink, just so there's less mess to clean up. We don't want to get on the floors and do double the cleaning. Just really make sure you don't go past this line. You don't want to cut any of the long hairs out, right? Just these little short guys. Just cleaning it up. Just Dialing it, it nice in. Nice and clean. Any stragglers out here, make sure you get those. You just go right up to that line. I've had friends do this. I've had my twin brother do this just like on a whim, and they always do a good job. It's all about following the lines. Maybe a little more. And I recommend keep your head straight. A lot of times you want to like bend your head to one side, but keep it straight so that they have a nice straight visual. You definitely go against the grain. Yeah, against the grain. Very, very important. And I really like to see all these hairs just drop in the sink here. It makes me excited because I'm going to look a lot cleaner than I did minutes ago. Because us long hairs, we can get a bad rap for uh, not looking clean. But not anymore. Voila. So if we want to get a... I just kind of wipe it off. There's some kind of maybe in the hair a little bit get the last and I normally do this before a shower guys that's that's pretty important too. take a shower after any any minor adjustments just they'll see it but you can't <laughs> and I've even seen people do this by themselves with a with a mirror in hand um, I really don't recommend that because I, I like somebody who has 
a view of it to go ahead and rock the neck. So there you go. Some of you might be thinking like why not at this stage take a razor to it. I personally don't want that to happen because I, I actually do like to show a little bit, right? It's almost it's almost like guys with, with uh, slight beards, you know? Some, some guys want it to stay like this and not be clean shaven. Um, and again, so this is just my preference. I never take a razor to the neck. A simple zero on clippers. Keep a little bit of that scruff. And that's just the way I like it, but feel free guys. And just to kind of keep my own home clean, I don't really wash all this down the, the sink because uh, you don't want it to get all in here, right? So what I do is I just simply kind of scrape up the bigger parts, throw that away. But then, then all these stragglers, you know, I let it go down, but this stuff goes in the trash. See, see all this kind of scruff, guys? I mean, it's, it's usually a little longer than this, but we want to shoot today. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to take down out of the pony. Okay, because uh, I read some comments and a lot of you are like, when I tie my hair back, I always, I have these stragglers, right? And uh, you guys with straight hair, it kind of sticks out. Us with curly hair, it kind of, it does its own thing, right? So I take down my hair and just to kind of have the the pullback, right? I get to see what what is sticking out, what is staying. Um, and I start from bottom to top. So this is just a little technique. You just kind of rake it. And on the way down, this is where I catch the hair. So it's very important. So you can see, so basically, these are gonna be falling down, right? And I go up to about where my hair is gonna be pulled back, okay? So now with the cutting process, I'm gonna do the same thing. And on the way down, I'm just gonna kind of just mindfully and slowly just take care of whatever's kind of falling and kind of make it make it flush. I don't go way down to the skin, right? You don't you don't want to like bald your sideburns. You just want them to look clean. So these falling ones here. Okay, so I have a couple fell there. Right? And then this is very important too, to stay with the the line. I kind of do this, right? I kind of, I'm going to follow my ear. And again, usually my hair is longer than this, but just for the sake of the video, you kind of want to just catch those hairs that are right in line with your ear. See, it's already looking better. It's not so spread out. So there's a couple longer ones here. Oh, there you go. See, if you haven't noticed, if this is not really working for you going straight up, sometimes your hair growth is is growing in a certain direction right and sometimes it's just finding that direction like i find with the top here i have to kind of go to the side not necessarily up so i'm going to kind of go to the side here all right i think i pretty much got it so see now when i pull it back you know, i see a couple there you go so there you have it and it already looks a lot cleaner Right, so when I pull it back, there's nothing, there's nothing sticking out. You can see if you, if we look straight on, it looks, it looks great. Has that nice little line here. There might be a little bit on the ear. Dial this one in. Yeah, there you go. See. Just be patient with it. Don't be in a rush. <laughs> that's what I recommend too. All right, so that's one side. I think, uh, I think that's pretty dialed. You can see straight on. There's nothing sticking up. So now we're gonna go to the left side, okay? So now my left hand is my non-dominant hand. Uh, not only that, but you gotta keep in mind, for these scissors at least, this it cuts better when it's on this side, okay? So when I switch it to my non-dominant hand, we're gonna wanna naturally just, just switch it over. But what you gotta do, you gotta also switch over the scissors. Now it's gonna be a little awkward because it doesn't fit it doesn't fit how it fits in the right hand, right? So we got to switch it over because this side just cuts the, the hair better. 
you'll you'll find that you'll reach a lot of problems if you if you don't. So again, basically the same process. I'm going to kind of assess the situation, right? If I pull back, what what hairs do I see already sticking up? Okay. Now, again, I'm just going to do that rake effect, right? So on the way down, you'll see some fall. And I want to catch it before it falls and settles. Right? You'll see gradual movement. Oh, see? My non-dominant hand doesn't want to work with me, but... There you go. Okay. Now, see, this, this side actually is growing... So I need to go this way with it, yep. So again, the hair has its own direction. Oh, see, there's a nice little... Oh, come on, there you go. It's okay. See, even, even your long hair is scared to, to be cut. No, we wanna grow. Not the sideburns, man. Okay, so I see some. So just before I cut this, like it's not it's not huge, but see if we look straight on, see there's a, just a little bit sticking out. But if you have your hair tied back, you want to look clean. You want that to be cut shorter so that's not sticking out. So here we go. So I'm simply gonna zero in on that. Boom. And then now we're gonna follow the ear line again. Let's see. Anything that's in the way of the nice shape of the ear, we want to get rid of. There you go. And again, patience, guys. We don't want to. We don't want to be in a rush when we do this. So one, there you go. One little white hair. Now basically just hovering over again. We don't want to go to the skin because you're basically gonna, it's gonna look choppy, right? So I'm kind of just hovering a couple centimeters above the skin. And there you go. I think with that last cut, I'm, I'm pretty dialed. And then you want to kind of comb it down. So when I tie my hair back, boom. I like it. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, so that's about it, guys. I mean, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I mean, how does it look, babe? It looks so clean, so sharp. Oh, Great hair tie, too. Oh, hair ties. Hair ties for guys. So we're basically going to have to maintain this, you know, every two to four weeks, your preference. And uh, try it out. Let me know in the comments your guys' experience. Let me know what you want to see next. Any tips, any tricks I can help you with, let's do it. But in the meantime, have a great week. See ya!